What is up, heroes? It's Midnight Zero. And Lizzie. And welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball 2. Goodbye to Spare. In the last episode, we got Body. Literally, no one wanted to hang out with us. No one wanted to chat with us. But we finally got to talk with Sonya. In this episode, we're going to start off by chatting with her, her lover. lover. <laughs> the, uh, the Dark Lord. The Dark Man. The Dark. The, the Overlord, the overlord of, ice of Ice. The Dark Lady. Taraka Gundam. I'm so the excited. Emissary of Evil. I'm so excited. I know. So fun. But yeah, let's uh, let's see what we gotta say. <laughs> that sound effect though. <laughs> what was, what was that? that? Uh, is this pattern some sort of insect puppetry? That was so funny. Also, just know that like Tanaka, the, the emissary of evil, or I think he might have been talking about Sandy when he was talking about the emissary of evil. But the Overlord of Ice is hanging out just chilling in the park. I know. I think that's so cute. I was yeah. like, oh, I wonder if he wanted to go to the park so those planters could like play on the swings and the slides and stuff. It'd be really cute. <laughs> <laughs> but how foolish of them to evolve me as its sacrifice. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Tanaka? Yes, you can. Yes, let's chat with him. <laughs> Don't make me get serious. Do you want me to purge your soul from the cycle of rebirth? That's a shout out to Buddhism? Uh, I mean, kind of. I mean, there I there so. is reincarnation in the cycle of rebirth in Buddhism. I think that's a specific reference. But... Okay. Also, I really like that sprite of him. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, I think that was a new one. Maybe. It might have been. I spent time with Tanaka today, even though he's still acting weird at a time like this. Looks like Tanaka and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Tanaka a present? Yes. Definitely. Oh, we definitely should have been thinking about what we wanted to give no, him. No, that earring. The earring? Do we want to give him the earring? Yeah, I want to give him the earring. Okay. Do so we want to... Where is it? Earring of, of Crushed, crushed evil. evil. An earring created by the legendary Home, to home Tutor. Huh? Crafted from silver and gold into the shape of a wing, the gold is said to increase luck, while the silver is said to accumulate luck. I definitely think we should give this to him. I don't know. I think Komaida would look pretty flashy with these. Yo. <laughs> Earring of crushed evil. <laughs> For the gold is said to increase luck, while the silver is said to accumulate luck. I guess. He doesn't need a luck already. He's already the ultimate student. We're just going to do it. do it. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Success. Great work, my servant. It is said five valuable assets exist in the world. You have my gratitude for discovering one of them. Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty That's like a big deal. <gasps> oh my god, the campsters came out. Look how happy they are. <laughs> Thank Look you. at them. Look how cute they are. Look at their really foul one on his shoulder. He takes up so much space that only one of them. Oh, that only yeah, one of them has to be on his hand. Oh, Lizzie, Lizzie. What? Do you, um, do you think his hamsters are cute? No. <laughs> Not at all. I'll tell you. Hold it. If you cherish your life, it's better if you don't come any closer. Huh? My magical beasts have the thirst to kill. I almost I thought that says, I thought that said magical breasts. Oh my god. <laughs> my magical breasts have a thirst have a thirst to kill. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh no. my god. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. Hamsters are only their current form. <laughs> Konoshina. Konoshina. Means like, sad, isn't it? Just as I thought, you know nothing. You will know true terror if you look down on them just because they fit in your palm. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, and even their own children. Oh, wow. Infanticide is actually a thing that is observed in certain amounts of animals. Yeah, I'm actually wondering, are hamsters the kind of animals that would actually I don't like, think so. I don't think so either. I don't think so, but it is a thing that actually happens. Yeah. Shockingly. Yeah. Their territoriality is frightening. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Today's fight started when Sandy got greedy and encroached upon Jumpy's territory. Jumpy was knocked aside and his foot stepped into Magazine's territory. <laughs> magazine. Um, that's a reference to some sort of magazine. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Then Magazine got angry and unleashed his anger onto Champy. <laughs> I was able to quell the rage by sacrificing my left hand, but it may not be that easy next time. Now that I, I, I wonder if there's an actual reason for bandaging up his left arm. Uh, so he can say like that? <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, giving me more editing. I'm me. sorry. I, I see. That's troubling. Could that be the reason Tanaka's hand is always wrapped in that bandage? Yeah, I was wondering the same Ooh. thing. By the way, do you know which species of my four dark devas of destruction has the largest body? Oh, oh what's the uh -oh. name? Oh. Uh -huh. You mean which species of hamster? Hamster? Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. I feel idea. like it's golden hamster. 
I mean, it's pretty golden. I mean, like, that's... I, I don't uh, know. I don't I know anything about hamsters. Golden hamsters. Golden hamster. What? Golden hamsters are the biggest species, right? Yo. Yes, those fearsome demon beasts boast the largest size amongst all hamster oh, so species. maybe that hamster isn't particularly fat. One of them is. just, like, large. What? One of them is huge. Yeah, I'm saying, I think that's the one he's talking about. Yeah. But, I mean, like, maybe it's, it's not fat. fat. Oh. It's fat. Please. It's, maybe it's just large. No, it's fat. <laughs> However, they're also the most docile and are known for being the smartest, too. Other tribes feel no fear, thus they give it their all when biting and ripping what stands before them. Yikes. But only Goldens know fear, thus they usually do not bare their teeth once they recognize you. They're saying they understand what happens when they bite people? That's interesting. That's why you must pay attention to their stress levels when you're breeding them. Hmm, I certainly didn't know that. Thanks for the person information. Yeah. However, that isn't the only feature of Goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality, and patterns. You could even say they have unlimited combinations. I mean, I, I would argue that there are unlimited combinations. Combinations of, like, any species. <laughs> Given that you have something on a continuous spectrum, like color. Like, infinite. <laughs> After much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. Is this the website? A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur, a hybrid creature with dominant spots and bands. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he looks so I know, he distraught. Looks so I think it's the first time we've seen him like this. I feel like you've seen this before. I don't actually. know. I don't think so. Okay. But but now all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and child I've left behind. I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. You were probably taking care of other animals, right? Um, are those demon beasts okay too? Next job referring to them. I, I like beasts. it, Hinata. <laughs> there are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all around the world. I've already given them orders to continue my research into the synthesis of demon beasts. <laughs> the synthesis of demon beasts. Yeah. Breeding hamsters. <laughs> they know how to avoid any lethal genetics, and they will carry out my will and conduct no atrocious experiments. Aww. <laughs> Beyond that, I've already made arrangements to leave my demon beast to those I trust. Wow, he's He really cares crazy about his prepared. hamster. Yeah, yeah. Aww. Listen to me, Atanaka, makes me rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. <laughs> you will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a place to sleep. I'm, like, literally just oh, imagining... Geez. Like, him talking to his hamsters and, like, taking care of them and, like, running experiments and, like, wanting to learn more about them, but also, like, making sure that, like, even the experiments are, like, super humane and, like, they're never in pain or anything, like, terrible is happening to them. And he just really, really cares about his hamsters. That's really sweet and cute. I love it. <laughs> Such luxuries mean everything to creatures who only live 1,095 days after they're born. Aww. Yikes, it's not even four years. Remember well. After saying that, Tanaka walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse of the deep affection Tanako feels toward all animals, not just hamsters. Yeah, yeah that was that was a cool free time yeah, event. I like, I like that. that. I like that a lot. After seeing Tanako wallowing in sadness, I left the area. Really? What? Oh my god. We get a third free time? I was so not prepared for this. I was so not prepared for this either. There should be time for me to move around more freely. <laughs> Yo, Yo we get time. more free time. Who do you want to chat with? Free time. Who do you want to chat with? I don't know. All right, well. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Hey! hey! Here we are with Solda. And before we chat with Solda, I actually want to point out that we're on the third floor. Yeah. We're on the we third floor of Grape House. We haven't been here before. Oh my gosh. We explore this little... Monica. Monica. There you are. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if... We haven't really been paying that much attention to the Monokuma plushes. Have we? I think we have. I think we've gotten a few of them already. We've gotten a few of them, but yeah. I've kind of forgotten about them. So I feel like same. We I feel keep like we would have found them. I, I feel like we would have found them. What's the Monokuma reference room? That's the archive. Oh, remember? that's the archive. You know, I know we were totally supposed to be chatting with Solda right now. Yeah. But sorry. Someone was saying that we should inspect something multiple times in here. Oh, really? I think so. So this is the Monokuma archive that Kumari was telling me about. Apparently there are no clues that might be useful for escaping this place, but in the future maybe necessarily know about the enemy. 
I'm going to I'm going to give that a go. Let's take a look at these documents. Okay. What's on this bookshelf? One of his latest work. There's no way my little sister is this incompetent. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> you know the, the that's a reference to, right? No. Okay, it is an anime. It's Oraimo. Oh, Oraimo. There's no way or it's like there's no way yeah. my little sister could be this cute. Yeah, that's really funny actually. I haven't seen that anime. I haven't seen it either. Obviously. But does this mean Monomi? Don't tell me he writes articles when he's bored. That's actually funny. Let's see if there's another one. What's on this bookshelf? Oh, no. Okay, no, it's the same one. Um, what about the other shelf? Let's see, what's on this bookshelf? Monokuma's Cute Meaty Diary, Volume 1. I don't oh, like boy. That. that sounds weird. Oh, boy. What is this? Is this Monokuma's Diary? Has that guy been keeping a diary this whole time? Greetings, I'm the Monokuma in charge of Monokuma. I'm the only one who looks good in a fresh salmon jacket. Anyway, it's still pretty recent, but I've made a tremendously huge discovery. And I shall share with you guys, starting now. First, squat like you're sitting in an invisible chair and put your hands behind your nope. thighs. Huh? No way am I doing that right now. <laughs> yeah, the other day was leg day. I did leg day with, with, uh, with Nick the other day, and I, oh my god. <laughs> I like can't go up and down stairs. Like sitting down is like the most, when I, I like try to go to the bathroom and like sitting down on the toilet, I am like propping myself against like the <laughs> sides of the stall to like get myself so I don't just like fall down because my legs are so sore and so, in so much pain. It was a good workout. Uh, then hold that <laughs> position as you raise your thighs. Nope. If you keep raising higher and higher, don't you think you'd start floating higher and higher into the air? You would, right? Right? Isn't this amazing? Is this a revolutionary discovery that'll cause reform in traffic laws? But I can't do it. I don't have thighs. Bummer. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was super strange. That's so Monokuma. Yeah, it looks like there are still several volumes to this diary, but what should I do? It's probably that. Yeah, let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. I'm curious. What's on this bookshelf? Volume, Volume two. 2. I'm bored anyway. Let's take a quick peek at it. Yeah. I hope you guys don't mind that we're reading this. Hey, man. What's up? Monokuma, aka Monokuma, is in the house straight, straight out of, out of Dog and Rafa. <laughs> That's so funny. Yo, can I do the rapper? Can I do, do this? Can I want to be on it? <clears throat> yo, yo, yo! I'm in Tokyo. Just got here. Yo, I'm the best. No contest. My business is such a success. <laughs> I'm a side pop, beefy, cute little bear. Make me teach her, walk me, shake my derriere. Yo, you stunned by the ill skill of my funky fresh rhymes? Man, I love to all my Monokuma heads. I'm crying from all the passion and love I'm feeling, man. Hey you, I'm the Demon Hudson, woo! I'm no Bruce, but I'm still a boss! Discount soy sauce! <laughs> Everybody clap your hands, you said a dog and Rafa, baby! Hey, man! Thanks. I did it so much better than you ever would have. That's very true, that's very true. <laughs> that was really funny! Thanks. That was a really funny rap, and that was really well done. Thanks, thanks. I wonder if that was a reference. That was probably some sort of reference. That was probably a reference. I have said, no idea like, what it was. If it's at all a rap reference, neither of us. It probably know. wasn't Eminem. That would be the only one I would know. <laughs> all right. I wonder how many volumes there are. Three. Volume hey. Three. All right. Let's take a look. I'd like to talk about how I became Monokuma. Back then, I was just a lowly salary man who worked for a food company. One day, when I was helping my lover, Juliet, conduct research on stuffed animals, Okay. I was attacked by assassins and sustained critical injuries, which drastically changed my appearance. Hmm. hmm. From there, I received emergency surgery from Juliet and obtained a body made of cotton and metal. And that's how I obtained superhuman powers. And so I became Super Monokuma and began my revenge against the assassins who attacked me. I wonder if there's like relevant. a little bit of like truth. Truth, yeah, like this is just know? like a fun thing. Yeah. Looks like there are still several volumes. Huh. Wow, there is still a lot. Yeah, no kidding. That said, that was a relatively short story. Volume 4. It has a mysterious charm to it. I can't stop reading. <laughs> I like power. I hate powerless idiots, even though I'm too familiar with them. I'm also loved by everyone today. Oh, by the way, this is Monokuma. <laughs> today I shall tell you the circumstances leading up to my appearance in Danganronpa. I guess it all started around 1905. You might know it as the year Bloody Sunday occurred in St. Petersburg. My manager received an offer to appear in a game by a certain company. However, my manager was actually a salmon. <laughs> Plus, she was on the verge of laying her eggs, so she was, she was extremely, extremely busy. busy. Oh my god. Because of that, she was only able to write a memo that said, Offer from Game Company S. It's pretty impressive that a Sam could even write a memo. Anyway, I was able to instantly figure it out just by looking at the memo. My genius 100% cotton brain decided that this was an important offer that would change my life. A game company known as Company S. It's obviously that fearsome first-rate company that gets bashed online. You know the four-sided one? Huh? 4chan! It Maybe. gets bashed online. I feel like this is referring to the company. Oh, uh, okay. I'm trying to come up with it. 
What, what, what's you're a four-sided much, game company? I know I'm actually a lot You're much, more much better at this than I would be. Hmm. Hmm. Do they get abstraction? Like, or like the people who make this game? Who are the people that make this game? The, uh, Spike Chunsoft. Oh, okay. Or Chunsoft. Okay. Uh, Square? Oh, that's probably what they're referring to. Square. Like Square Enix. Oh. Yeah, they make like Final Fantasy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I immediately put on some clothes and headed for Company S. However, even though it was called Company S, it wasn't actually the four-sided one. It was a company that's famous for lots of reasons called Spice Chunsoft. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, oops, Spice Chinsoft? Space Chincraft? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, when I found out who they were, I felt so rejected that my strings started to fray. However, I'm a professional. I was touched by the producer's enthusiasm, aka Cash, Whoa. and I willingly consented to their offer. And that's how I ended up in Dongan Ro Dongan Rupal. Dong Yo, I wonder if Dongan Rupal is gonna be a thing now. That would be actually be really funny. Like a short spin-off game. Ah, uh, it was Dog Goner Ron Paul. Dog Goner Ron Paul. Dog Goner Ron Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Freaking politics into it. Oh well. Anyway, as punishment for making me misunderstand, I decided to eat my white. What? For dinner that night. That got weird. Literally. And ever since then, my eyes have been opened to the tasty flavor of salmon. That got. I, that, I didn't like. I, I didn't like that. that. I, I like didn't. That I did not like that. That gave me a weird. That that makes me feel. Wow. Weird. There are still several volumes to this diary. We're gonna keep reading. Oh my gosh. Sorry, y'all. What's on this bookshelf? Volume five. I've come this far. I can't stop now. Hello, I'm Monokuma. Today I shall teach you the best way to arrange a meeting with me. I'll bet you guys want to see me so badly. You're like a bunch of dogs, barking like crazy and stretching your leashes to their limit. So, first you need to prepare your money. Ideally, you want to prepare around $88. Hmm? Dog Rampa 2 should cost about $44, <laughs> including sales tax. Just like life, it's important to take any action with plenty of money in your hands. Next, head over to the nearest video game store and tell a staff member. I want to buy Dog Rampa 2. Oh my gosh. Make sure you say it real loud so the other customers in the store hear you. <laughs> I want to buy Dongram 2, starring the famously cute Monokuma. The staff will tenderly bring you the item as if they're carrying a newborn infant. Oh my gosh. And if you just give them money in exchange, you'll be able to splendidly obtain Dongram 2. Great, great instructions. But wait, don't rush. Uh, the game will be wrapped with clear plastic that you must rip open. That's right, rip off the plastic. The only person who has any right to rip off the plastic is the first person to buy it. Rip off the plastic gently as if you're undressing a lo undressing As if a you're lover. undressing a lover. <laughs> Once you finish with that, you'll be able to take the game card out of the case. All I have to do now is insert the game card into your PS Vita, but once again, don't rush. So funny. After you take off the game card, you must intentionally break it in half. Oh, you have to buy another one. Why would I do something so crazy? And that's why he said $88. 88 is that what you might be wondering? But don't worry. The fact that you prepared more than enough money will be very <laughs> useful here. You must immediately return to the video game store and yell loudly at the staff, Please give me another copy of Dongan Rapa 2 starring the modern day sex symbol Monokuma. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. If you follow these orders, you'll finally be able to meet me. Yep, wasn't that an amazing lecture? I haven't said anything impossible. Seriously. That's so funny. That's these are so actually funny. like really funny. Yeah, I like these. They're like such a personality. Yeah. With this, I finished reading every volume of Monokuma's diary. Oh man. It took me a while, but now I feel this pleasant exhaustion, as if I accomplished something important. I wonder it's if this like... will be relevant later. I hope it will be. It probably won't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Maybe that'd be pretty cool. But um, yeah. Thanks to the comments for letting us know. Yeah, to letting do us that know that in a very it. subtle, non-spoilery way. I believe I was told to. When I enter a room in which I can inspect very many things to repeatedly inspect the same thing to see new dialogue. Ah. Uh, how did you figure out it was the Monokuma room? Um, there were a lot of things to inspect in this bookshelf. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it seemed like there would be multiples of the, okay. Yeah, of the books. Thanks! Yeah, I think it was Ginger Dwarf. I, I appreciate the, like, super not spoiler way of, like, tipping us off to something like that. Right, right, because, yeah. yeah, super important. Um, and Ginger Dwarf is like the perfect example of someone who understands that. Yeah, of yeah, yeah, for sure. So. Okay, finally. Now. Solda. 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 Ah. Aww. I'm bored. Bored, 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 b
<laughs> We're tired. <laughs> what, are we, what are we gonna do? We seriously don't have anything to do. What should I do? Should I invite Solda to hang out? Yeah, of course. Let's hang out. Let's hang out, Solda. Oh, this is bad. How much longer do we have to live like this? Spend time today trying to calm down Solda while he complained. Hello, well, Solda. Looks like Solda and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Solda a present? Oh my goodness. Definitely. Oh man, now I have to figure out. We what have to pick up going. another. Or we have uh... to pick up another one. Okay. Okay. I wonder if he would like the date night magazine. Maybe. Maybe actually. What about this? No. A muffler. Oh, you know what's really funny? So what? I was thinking of a muffler, um, like on a motorcycle. Oh. Right? Yeah, I was like, no. But like a winter scarf is also called a muffler. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. What's funny is I didn't know that, but in katakana, a winter scarf in um, Japanese is called a mafra, uh... based off of a muffler. I had never heard of a winter scarf being called a muffler in English until after I learned that the word for winter scarf in Japanese is based off the English word muffler. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, let's see. Do you think, like, Solda would be into this, like, spy stuff? Not really. He'd be into, like, really techie stuff, right? Yeah, he'd be into, like, techie stuff. Um... I'm trying to figure out. Um, what is this? Oh, what wait, that's really kind of cool. Meteorological Entertainment. Hmm. I think he would like that. Yeah, I think it would be pretty cool. Agreed. Do you think there's anyone that has, like, a thing for weather? <laughs> Probably not. Alright, let's give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> Yes! Oh, yeah, yes. he really liked it! We succeeded! You went to all that trouble just to bring me something amazing? He is a, you're a seriously nice guy. I'm a little touched, really. But you're still the traitor. Yeah. <laughs> seriously, thanks! Ah. Ah, oh, jeez. Why aren't there any vehicles with engines on this darn island? At this rate, I'll take anything a go kart, RC toys, a baby carriage. Just let me take her with something. Aw, oh, Solda. Baby carriages don't have engines. <laughs> There's nothing I can't disassemble. So I took apart the alarm clock inside my room. And when I did that, I couldn't put it back together. Oh, oh no. Oh, so there are times when even the ultimate mechanic can't fix something. <laughs> of course, that sort of thing happens to me all the time. One time I was sneaking around without thinking, and before I realized that I made some kind of car thing. <laughs> For some reason, the things I fix always end up being some kind of vehicle. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. That is actually really cool. I mean, that also demonstrates a lot of like the mindset of like an engineer, like mechanic, is like being able to take things apart and like understand what each individual part does and how it comes together as one big thing. Uh -huh. And only once you do that, you can really like put it back together. Yeah. You know? I don't understand. Uh... Well. Uh, I don't mind messing around with the frame or connecting the electrical equipment. But guys definitely need something with a rumble and some bam bam bam. Oh my gosh, you'd probably have those really obnoxious cars with like the really loud engine and like... Yeah, I don't really... Like... I'm not a big fan of like loud engine cars yeah. or anything. That said, Lizzie doesn't have the greatest taste when it comes to cool cars. Please, tell me your ideal cool car. Okay, I really like just like... I just want a good standard car that has She's delaying, good gas mileage. Prius. That has good gas mileage. <laughs> She's talking about a Prius. I love Prius. Her cool car is a Prius. And she Yo, makes, it is so environmentally and, friendly. Nay, nay. <laughs> she makes fun of me for thinking a Corvette or like a Viper they're or so, like a Mustang so or a Ferrari they're or a so Lamborghini is a cool looking car. Like, they're so, they're I get just that like some... burnt gas. They're just like, the only kinds of people who ever drive them are people who blow all their money when they're young or they're in a the midlife crisis. So it's really just not cool at all. I get that like a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, those are like way over the top. But like a Mustang and like a Corvette are nice, pretty expensive, but like far from blowing over um, cars I that like they're... look really cool. I personally really like Corvettes, in particular Stingray Corvettes, which is like 73 to 76 or so Corvettes. I only know what I know about cars from conversations with my dad in Need for Speed Most Wanted in Midnight Club Los Angeles. So I wish y'all could see my face right now. It would be it, there's no way I can like express like orally the way that I feel right now <laughs> or like the expression that I'm giving right now. But it's just like uh cars. Like, you just need something that's gonna, like, give you good gas mileage, that's not gonna hurt the environment, that's gonna, like, be pretty fast, and, like, that's all you need. Like, have yeah. a good radio, like... But, like, is that cool? Yeah, it is! It's very cool! Is that a cool you can car? Have cool colors and stuff. You can add, like, stickers and bumper stickers and, like, keychain and, like, 
little like tickers. Like you can't add like a little like hey, Hinata, anime you know what I'm talking about, sticker. right? <laughs> you know what I really want right now. <laughs> um, Solda is probably talking about a. An engine. Hmm, I wonder. You're talking about an engine, right? That's what you want to mess around with. Mochironda-ze. <laughs> I think that's the first time we heard that. Yeah. That's right, that's exactly it. Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Turn it over and over, gets my brain moving. I really miss the smell of oil. You're right, I haven't really smelled anything like that since we came to this island. But even if there was a car here, you couldn't drive it since you don't have a driver's license, right? There's no way I do something annoying like that. I just get motion sickness anyway. I just really like the feeling of an engine running. I like all kinds of machines, but vehicles are definitely the best of the best. After all, they look so awesome. Don't they, Lizzie? Yeah, Priuses look great. <laughs> Man, I really want to go home and so her soon and start working on my bike again. Oh, you're even making a bike, huh? My dream machine is seriously awesome, you know? According to my calculations, it has a top speed of 585 miles per hour. That is very high. Man, I really miss tinkering with that thing. <laughs> Oh, but obviously wouldn't be street legal, and since I get motion sickness, I can't ride it anyway. What's use some making a ride that you can't even use? I don't understand that at all. Well, that was kind of fun. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Soul does another one of those characters that's really grown on me. Agreed. So, after talking with Soul does some more, I went back to my room. Uh... I don't think we're gonna need more free time. Agreed. Um, what time is it right now? Wow. Huh? It's already 10 p.m.? Because I thought I can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows or Monokuma announcements. It's still a little early, but I thought we were going to... Frita! Yeah. But I should go back to my room. All right, so we will head back to Hinata's room in, in the, the next, next episode. episode. And from there, we will... I don't know. See what happens. Probably see what happens this night. Yeah. I'm so pleasantly surprised by how much free time we got. I know. I felt so I cheated we at the beginning like, of this oh chapter. Oh my gosh, like, we're not going to get free time. Like, this sucks. Yeah, I felt we so cheated. But yeah. now we got some free time. We got yeah. to chat with some characters, some good character development, some fun times. Yeah. Some highs before the lows. Yeah, because we know someone's going to die soon. <laughs> yep. But regardless, I'm looking forward to the next episode. I hope you guys are too. But until then, this has been the Night Zero. And Lindsay. And this mission is complete. Bye. Bye.